LeBron James. I, 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 this man does not show up at Kobe Bryant's statue presentation. And Nick goes into this thing soliloquy about what you're, we don't know what he was doing. And I had to explain to Nick, which he still doesn't seem to understand that there's thing, nothing in life is an obligation, but there are things that you should do for at least for this, the, the one for respect and two for optics. As the face of the team, he doesn't show up to the, to the, as the face of the team, he doesn't show up to this thing. Then <clears throat> Nick says he could have been getting a massage and doing his warm up or whatever the hell he might have been doing. I said mama mentality. We, we, we don't know. Important. Yeah, yeah. M mama mentality. I mean, there were times where Kobe Bryant didn't have his pregame work workout. But because he was in court, Rudy. Yeah, you know what? It, whatever it might be, I, I hope that LeBron James, when he is, has his Hall of Fame speech, does not. <laughs> how, I, 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 haven't finished, I haven't finished my rant yet. You're already cutting me off. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I tell you what. So he skips Dwayne Wade's thing, his Hall of Fame induction. The next day he is, people will say, oh, his son has just had a heart attack. His son had a heart attack 19 days earlier, and yet he was hanging out with Draymond Green the day after Dwayne Wade's induction ceremony. When Bill Russell died, he did not tweet, he didn't, even though we know LeBron tweets about every topic under the sun. He's an expert in the Dallas Cowboys. He's an expert on this. He's an expert on politics, even though he can barely speak English right now. There was a thing that I, I read recently where uh, – People, there was a reason why people said that. <laughs> why, why people like Kobe Bryant more than LeBron? Because Kobe Bryant mastered five languages and LeBron still hasn't mastered one. <laughs> that was funny. I'm sorry. Oh, I saw that on Jason Whitlock, by the way. Um, of course. That was hilarious. Now, I will say this. He doesn't go to Kobe's thing, but yet he is at the Super Bowl front and center. I guess that was more important to him than Kobe Bryant and his, maybe he had a friendship, maybe he didn't, but I'm not shocked that he was at the Super Bowl. But the fact that three days ago, you were not at your former Olympic teammates statue ceremony. And I'm sure all the bronze sectionals will come for me again and defend his honor and say, he can do what he wants to do. And Nick will say, he, it's his choice. Yes, it's his choice. The optics of you being at the Super Bowl two days later, because this was on a Thursday, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it, you know he was probably in freaking Vegas on Saturday. And, of course, he's at the Super Bowl, and he's seen. So anyone that says that he may have been hiding at Kobe's event, clearly don't know LeBron very well. The guy continues to show you why he's a world-class piece of shit. He continues to show you why he has no fucking character whatsoever when it comes to anything beyond himself. The narcissistic level of this man goes like, it's tunnel vision on me, 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 me. That's what it comes down to. Maybe one day when someone doesn't show up to his Hall of Fame or his honors or his statues or whatever the heck it is, when they don't show up, maybe at, at, at that point he'll start to understand Pay respect to people that have helped you along the way. Pay respect to people that cared about you, sacrificed for you. But clearly, being at the Super Bowl was more important than going to Kobe's event. That's all I got to say. Oh, by the way, he just beat the hell out of the Milwaukee Bucks, which is beautiful, without Jimmy Butler. But, yeah, LeBron, do better, my guy. Rudy. Do better, my guy. Like, have some sense. Have some sense. In the you're, too, you're, too, you're too smart to make – so many decisions back to back to back to back that make you look like straight up horseshit. In the honor of Kobe Bryant, did he have a game that day? I don't give a shit. The thing was at one o'clock in the afternoon, bro. The game is at seven at night. It doesn't take you freaking. It was a 30 minute event. You making excuses for this bullshit. My Anyone with sense. Anyone with sense would have been there. Anybody. And you know, I don't know why Anthony Davis wasn't there because he sucks off LeBron's left nut. And he follows whatever LeBron does. So don't sit here and tell me, well, was AD there? That's what you asked me. Was AD was, there? Was, no, was, he wasn't there because was, LeBron, his, his daddy LeBron. Was D-Lo there? Who gives a shit about D-Lo? I don't, Dwayne Wade was there. He didn't play for the Lakers. He, don't, he wasn't at the stadium. He had to physically drive there. That's crazy, Rudy. Yeah. You know what? Austin Reeves, respect my guy. Rui Hachimura, respect my guy. Darvin Ham. 
Um, the, what was the freaking other assistant there? You talking about uh, um, LeBron's best friend? Yeah, yeah. The, um, when that one that came for Toronto. With so the- don't sit here and tell me about how. Now I think it's embarrassing actually that the whole team wasn't there. It's embarrassing. As a franchise, I'm shocked that Jimmy busted and make all them stupid idiots be there. Whoa, but if, whoa. You let, if you let LeBron James make a decision, you already know he's going to make the wrong one. But, Rudy, they had a game that night. They had a game at 7 o'clock at night, Nick. They didn't need six hours for him to freaking have his butt massage. What if he, had, to, what if he had to go Stop. pick up his kid from baby? Oh, you think that man picks up anyone's kids? Shut up. Stop it. Man, it's family. He's picking brother. up his kid. Get the fuck. Get the f- oh my god! You mean it, he's picking up his seventeen-year-old from high school? No, he has a young daughter. Maybe. Yeah, you think his wife or his fourteen nannies don't do that shit? Come maybe. on, man. Maybe. Let's be with the nonsense. Maybe you're not. Take, take your bronze sexual fucking dress off, please. I don't have god, a bronze geez. sexual dress. I have an <sighs> open mind to the world, Rudy, and you are enclosed. And I think you need to open. Are, 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 are you on the Martin Lawrence Wu Sai shit right now from Bad Boys back in the day? <laughs> hey, I'm just saying, Rudy, the man, the man wasn't obligated to be there. Should he, could he have been there? Could he have been there? But we, we don't know <laughs> what he had planned or what was going on for that man on that day. Maybe his kid had a, 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 a preschool. A, 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 a dance rehearsal that we don't know about. We don't know. You, okay, so he, had, he so before it's mama mentality, now it's preschool mentality. Pre- I'm sorry, preschool rehearsal, dance rehearsal mentality. F-O- Big one. You're F-O- like flipping F-O- it all around now, bro. Yeah, I'm going over everything. Don't do that. To, don't do that to LeBron, Rudy. Don't do that to LeBron. Oh, that was a, that was a, that, that, that was that was a. Yeah. But first, yeah. of all, I'm just all right. I'm being serious right now. We don't know should he have been there. I'm gonna actually agree with you, Rudy. He should have been there just for the optics of it. But we know LeBron moves to his own drums. He looks selfish at times, and uh, people are not gonna like him regardless. LeBron could have been there, and people would still find a way. Why did he go there? Because now he's overshadowing Kobe ceremony. You anyone that's bro. anyone that says that is dumb. But that, that's that's a, a, that's a real thought. You have dumb that's a real. No, thought. anyone that said. No, anyone that says that about him for showing up and saying, oh, now he's still the spotlight, they're idiots. These things have been said about LeBron for anything. Anything what he does is get maximized to the umpteenth degree. And he could have been there and like, why is he there? He's overshadowed. Well, oh, you know you know how you don't overshadow? You just go and you shut the hell up. You don't ask for and don't get interviewed by anybody. You just show your face. You're there and you leave. Really? That's how you avoid being the guy that overshadows it. You know when you're the best player of all time, the, the boat. The boat, the best player of all time. That somebody, somebody's gonna come up to you and ask you a question, and then you're you walk off. Walk, no, you're not. No, they gotta you, go through the. They gotta go through their media team first. I'm just trying to get a player so, for us. So, so, now he's a, so now you want him to be a dick for not answering? Come on, Rudy, pick pick what you want from LeBron. A dick for not answering? Yeah. Who's talking about taking an interview? I don't care if he doesn't get interviewed. I never cared about that. Wow. I've never cared about whether he, he gets interviewed or not. I think there are plenty of times where you should say, screw the interview, but he, he's required to by his job or he'll get fined. Mm. Okay, that's one obligation he does have, which Whoa. he does fulfill. He Whoa. does fulfill that obligation. Look at you using my word. Because he will get fined <laughs> if he doesn't. Yeah. Um, but in that particular situation, no one was uh, – that in that situation, you don't I, – I don't, you don't get interviewed. Just go, show your face, and leave. I mean – there were guys that were there. I mean, the fact that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who's walking on the cane and, and had just broken his leg like a month and a half ago, dealing with mad health problems, was there. I just think it's a bad look. But, I mean, Kareem, you know, especially when especially when you're at the Super Bowl two days, three days later. But I'm good. He didn't have a game, man. He had a day off after that. Come on now. Not a I, I'm, I'm convinced that, on winning, and now you have a problem. That's the problem. so. I'm, well, how much focus is that? You're at the Super Bowl. You think he didn't go to the? You you think he wasn't at the Kansas City Chiefs after party? No, he was. No, but he could have been because he had a day off the next day. And yeah, it, I know. He didn't play to the following. Why? Why wasn't he like resting? He's old. All right, Rudy. Now, come on. Next topic, Donald. Bring us in. Bring us in. <laughs> 